What's going on, family? Um, I was really thinking about what I should make this video about, and I could talk about the, you know, hashtag World War Three bullcrap going on, but um, I'd rather not. You know, it's just it's kind of irrelevant. Yeah, I'm in the military, but it's still irrelevant, bro. Um, let me talk about life and the fact is that like the saying in life is what you make it right so you'll come to realize and even i am you know starting to realize this manifestation laws of attraction you know 12 laws of karma all that is completely true you know and i know i've been in a position where like you know starting off you you wouldn't exactly you know think that it's working for you or think it's even real because you know you'll try it for a couple you know minutes maybe an hour maybe a day and you wouldn't see a difference right but um it's like with it's like with anything you know you have to be persistent you have to practice you have to really put time effort and energy into it because you can't expect overnight changes to happen within an hour you know just like i don't know let me take some of the great the greatest into into the perspective right like let's say um messi right or, or lebron james or you know serena williams or like all like the greatest gymnasts they didn't just go to practice one time and then like become high caliber athletes no they took years to perfect their craft so I'm saying this because it's like this, bro. On this here physical realm, the, the third dimensional realm, you know, is this 3D planet, you know, 4D planet. We see, feel, and experience everything, right? So those people who say, like, this is hell, and when you die, you'll go to heaven, right? Or, you know, all of that, all of that, right? This could be your heaven. You have to think unlike the masses, bro. You really have to think beyond what everyone else is doing. And at this point, I'm speaking to myself and to the others who could really relate, right? You have to put that time and that energy and that effort into where you want to go. Think about what you want to become and say that to yourself, okay? Like Mike Tyson said, bro, before he was even a champion, he was saying he was a champion, you know? Or was that? No, that was Ali. But still, you have to perform, you have to act like you want to be until you're there, you know? That sort of saying, fake it till you make it, it's kind of real because you're not going to, like, you're not going to just become what you want to, you're not going to become successful, you're not going to become abundant with blessings overnight you have to carry yourself like you're really abundant you feel me you're gonna really have to do things that the hell all right you're gonna really have to do things that most people wouldn't do right the way the law of attraction works is you you receive what you put out okay and basically what that means is this if you put out the, the the feeling of I want or I wish I had or I want to get or I hope to get that's still um, a feeling of lack okay that's still a feeling of lack the way the universe works is that's not that's not good enough because you put out the feeling of lack the universe will always give you lack okay you have to say like, like, for instance, if you want to be a millionaire, right? You have to carry yourself like a millionaire. You have to, you know, spend like millionaires spend. You have to invest like millionaires invest, okay? You can't want to be a millionaire and, and, and having the same habits as, you know, middle class, lower class citizens. You can't do that. You can't say you want to be a millionaire and focus on BS that is trending like World War III okay millionaires aren't focused on that millionaires aren't so focused on distractions that are easily easily influenced 
by a higher masses, okay? You really have to think about the bigger picture and, and, and everything, all right? You could either be like a fucking pigeon, you could be a seagull, or you could be an eagle, all right? You have to think higher, carry yourself higher. It's not gonna be an overnight change, man, I'm telling you, bro. You're gonna have to sit down, discipline yourself, mentally and physically discipline yourself, spiritually discipline yourself, okay? It's, it's like three realms to this, bro. It's, it's body, mind, and spirit. The body can do anything and the mind can do anything, but the spirit can't do anything, okay? The spirit does what you feel, all right? And the reason I say the body and mind can do anything is this, because your mind can roam freely at any point, any time, and any day. And just because your mind roams, your body follows. But that's all just random shit. It's all about what the spirit does, you feel me? If you have the spirit that you're abundant and just have everything you want, then your mind and body will automatically follow. Automatically, it's just like a, it's like a light switch, you know? You turn the switch on, lights in the house come on, you know? So kind of look at the, the spirit as the light switch. Once that's turned on in the, in the right direction, you'll get the light shining on every area that you want light to be shined on. If you're, if you're feeling depressed and, you know, feeling sad, I'm not saying it's completely your fault, but I'm saying it's, you're, having a, you're having an abundance of depression, sadness, because that's what you feel is going on in your in your spirit you understand that it's like yeah like it's some things that are out here that are, that are completely out of hand like diseases but some diseases believe it or not by science they aren't as serious until it's self-inflicted you know if you're always worrying what if this happens or what if that happens the spirit will allow that to happen you know it's sort of like, you know, you're like perfect example, you're, you're on an airplane, right? It's your first time on an airplane. And you go YouTube and Google everything, everything that could go wrong on an airplane. Why don't you just enjoy the experience? You know, why don't you enjoy the time, enjoy the vacation, enjoy the traveling? All right, that's, that's gonna be the end of this video, bro. But like, just think about it, man. Laws of attraction, manifestation, bro. Start reading some like, Start reading some more books, bro. It's, it's, it's really the new year. And I'm really sick of seeing everyone saying that they already messed up. Come on, bro. This is the fifth day. The fifth day. We have 365 opportunities and you, and you already shit away five. All right? But it's not over, bro. You still have 360 more opportunities. Take advantage, bro. I'm serious. Peace out.